Il Segreto de Susana is all about two newlyweds. They are very much in love, um, or so it would seem, but trouble is afoot uh, because the Count suspects his wife of infidelity. These performers, it's like a marathon for them. You know, it only lasts 45 minutes, but there's so much action. And it's the detail which I love the most, really. Yeah. So it's not broad brushstroke opera. There's lots of little quirky sort of details which really bring the piece to life. And it's real. It's really real. Yeah, it's, it's, a, what we're doing. it's a proper situation comedy. Yes. yes. It's really about modernity, it's about liberation. Wolf Ferrari was very much a man of his time and he took influences from all around him. He's married all these styles together beautifully to create this, this really exciting piece. The joy of this double bill is that you have two completely different composers who see the world in a completely different way. Yolanta is a fairy tale originally and it's about a girl who's been kept secret in her garden and she's blind and she doesn't actually know she's blind. And you have this sort of autocratic king who on one hand is wise and kind, but he also does keep this absolute secret. And because of that really disempowers both Yolanta and the other women in the piece as well. I love the music of Yolanta and it's been a tremendous privilege for me to actually work on the piece with this company. The music is absolutely extraordinary, some of Tchaikovsky's very, very best. We've got glorious singers, glorious chorus. It's a really, really intense opera. Both, I think, should really take you on a, a really nice journey throughout the evening. And, um, you know, you should always come to Opera Holland Park because it is a fantastic experience.